Hey guys, so today we'll be comparing the uh, Amazon Kindle's Cry marker uh, with the Remarkable on this Remarkable 2 tablet. One of the things that I was uh, thinking of is, uh, can you use the uh, Kindle's Cry as a uh, as a replacement uh, for the, um, the Remarkable marker? Um, and in my experience so far, I think it's a pretty good competitor. Um, the, the feeling is uh, pretty similar when it comes to writing um, and just just when, when holding it um, the the Kindle scribe definitely feels more plasticky uh, but at the same time you you know it's much lighter than than the uh, than the remarkable uh, the remarkable is definitely um, you know it's more tactile and you feel more texture uh, when you're holding it, it more, feels more premium, uh, whereas the uh, the Kindle uh, pen is, um, you know, it's, it feels a little bit plasticky for sure, uh, but it's definitely lighter um, than the than the Remarkable. When it comes to actual writing, um, I do feel that they sound and feel very similar. Uh, so let's first start with the uh, with the Remarkable and see how that sounds. So in general, the Remarkable is pretty scratchy. Now let's swap it out with the uh, with the Kindle Scribe. It's almost the same, in my opinion. Um, when you put them side by side, they are almost the same. Um, let's uh, let's try again. So the sound and the feeling is almost similar for both of these pens. Um, so depending upon your budget, if you're looking for a replacement, I think the uh, Amazon Kindle pen definitely works. Um, the only downside to this is the way it attaches. Now, if you look at the marker uh, from Remarkable, it usually, um, um, you know, this is where it, it sits. Um, somewhere here at the at the upper end of the tablet and it's pretty strong um, doesn't really uh, come out easily whereas um, with the scribe it does attaches a bit it attaches okay but it's not as sturdy as you can see <laughs> and in my experience you know this is lighter but this This is great. Um, I personally think it, it works really well. Um, the uh, the eraser function, which is this button, also performs fairly well, which is great. Um, I like that. You don't really have to like turn it around like with the Kindle and, and erase stuff. Um, but yeah, this is this is really great and convenient in my opinion, and it does the does the job so if I were to choose I would still go with the remarkable if you have the budget uh, to do that if not you know just go with the Kindle scribe um, you can always um, you know if you're looking for the tips the marker tips I think you can use um, the the Kindle ones um, on the remarkable um, so I think that, you know, given the pricing, you can make a decision based out of that. Um, and, you know, you can use this button to erase with the, with the Kindle. Uh, the Remarkable does not have any buttons here, so that's a disadvantage. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, so 
even this thing at the, the rear end works as a, as, a, as a eraser, which is great. So that being said, I think it does come down to your budget and how much you want to spend. The markers are swappable, so if you're looking to, you know, looking for markers, um, the marker tips uh, for the Remarkable, you can definitely use the ones from Scribe and vice versa. So it's depending upon your budget and, you know, um, what you feel like. But in my opinion, they're pretty comparable uh, pens. And so thank you so much for watching. And once again, uh, thank you and uh, um, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.